tool. In this course, you will learn the following. The minimum cluster configuration to successfully install and use Vertica Analytics and the Management Console. Where to download the Vertica Analytics installation package and how to install it. Where to download the Management Console installation package and how to install it. If you have questions or comments about this course, you can always contact us at vertica-training at hp.com. You can navigate through this course using the controls on the play bar. You can also access the text for the course using the volume and closed caption buttons. When you are ready to start, click the Begin Course button. Before you install Vertica or the Management Console, you will need to understand how a Vertica cluster is defined, the Unix users and user groups used by Vertica, and where to download the Vertica installation packages. Before installing Vertica, you must first configure your cluster. A cluster is made up of one or more physical hosts, machines that have been configured as per the documentation to run Vertica. These hosts have a name and a static IP address and do not share either disk space or main memory with each other. On each host, edit the file slash etc slash hosts so that the machines can identify each other. There are also dedicated ports on each host that must be left open for Vertica communication. The full list of reserved port numbers are in the installation guide, downloadable from the My Vertica site. On every cluster host, the root user is required to install both Vertica Analytics and the Management Console. In addition to other cluster configuration steps, you must ensure that the root user can use SSH to log in to all hosts in the cluster. At least two other users must be created to install and run Vertica. The user dbadmin is the Unix owner of the Vertica database. Another user, which we have named ncadmin, owns and controls the management console. Both of these users must be in the Unix group Vertica DBA. On one of the hosts, create a directory to hold the Vertica database and management console installation files. The directory should be owned by the user root. It doesn't matter which host you create the directory on, Vertica treats them all equally. On all of the hosts, create a directory to hold the Vertica database which will be distributed across all hosts. The directory should be owned by the user dbadmin. The Vertica database server and management console installation packages are available from the downloads pages of my Vertica site. We support the following Unix versions, Red Hat Enterprise, SUSE Enterprise, and Debian. You can also use Ubuntu for non-production purposes. Make sure you select the same Unix versions for both the database server and management console. For the purposes of demonstration, we will be using the Red Hat Enterprise version. While the commands may differ between Unix versions, the process remains the same. To start, move the installation files, in this example, RPM files, into the installation directory on one of your hosts. For more information on initial cluster configuration, see the Before You Install HP Vertica section of the installation guide. In this section, you will learn how to unpack a Vertica Analytics package, install the Vertica Analytics application, and accept the terms of the license agreement. Remember, we are using Red Hat Enterprise as a demonstration platform. The first step to installing Vertica is to unpack the installation file. As root, run the command rpm dash capital UVH with the full path to the installation file. When you unpack the RPM file, you created a new directory slash opt slash vertica on the same node as the RPM file. The application is stored in this directory. The vertica application is stored in the directory slash opt slash vertica. The executables and scripts are organized in subdirectories. Among those directories are the bin directory, which contains the Vertica executables, diagnostic tools, and backup tools. The sbin directory, which contains scripts used for installation, upgrading, and maintenance. The application log files are contained in the log directory. Vertica also ships with the files to allow you to create and manage a sample database, 
vMart. After unpacking the installation package, run the installation script to install Vertica. The script is located in the directory slash opt slash Vertica slash sbin. As root, run the command install underscore Vertica with the following options. Dash dash hosts followed by the names or IP addresses of the host machines. Dash dash RPM followed by the full path to the installer package. The installation script has many more command line options. To review those options, see the Installing Using the Command Line section of the Vertica Installation Guide. The installation script copies the directory slash opt slash Vertica onto each other host in the cluster. This allows you to run Vertica from any machine in your cluster. After installation, the physical machines are no longer referred to as hosts. They are now called nodes. We use this terminology to distinguish cluster machines that have Vertica installed from those that may have other purposes. After installing Vertica, you must accept the license terms in order to use it. To accept the license, you must log into a node as the user dbadmin, which was created as part of the installation process. As dbadmin, Run the command admin tools. You will be prompted to enter the full path to the license file. If you are using the community edition of Vertica, which limits the number of nodes in your cluster and the amount of data you can store, leave the license file blank and click the OK button. After reviewing the license agreement, accept it. The Vertica application is now installed. In this section, you will learn how to unpack and install the management console package and how to configure the Management Console admin user. Remember, we are using Red Hat Enterprise as a demonstration platform. The Management Console provides a graphical overview of your cluster. Unlike the Vertica Analytics installer, unpacking and installing Management Console is done in one step. As the user root, run the command rpm capital U VH with the full path to the installation file. When the Unix prompt appears, you are ready to configure the console. You begin the configuration by navigating to the stated URL in your browser. Vertica supports the management console in the following browsers. Internet Explorer 9, Firefox 15 and greater, and Chrome 11 and greater. In your chosen browser, go to the URL https colon slash slash your node name, colon, 5450. Read and accept the license agreement to continue with the configuration. Create an administrative user for the management console. Enter a password for the user. The user should be in the Unix group Vertica DBA. The home directory, license directory, and port number will be automatically populated. The storage location fields are used when creating a new Vertica database using management console. These are the default locations for the catalog and database directories. You can change them later during the database creation process. You will need to determine how the new user will be authenticated in Management Console. You can configure the console to use LDAP for authentication, but for demonstration purposes, we will let the Management Console handle the authentication internally. You have completed the configuration of the admin user for Management Console. After the server restarts, Log in as the admin user. From the Tasks page, you can create and manage your clusters and databases. Thank you for taking the Vertica installation course. If you are looking for more information, please see the HP Vertica training page for more offerings, or read the Concepts Guide and the Installation Guide in the documentation set.